Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you are here today. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about this video um, because I feel like <laughs> the more personal videos, for some reason, they always get a lot more views, so yeah, but that's okay. Everybody wants to know the juicy details. <laughs> uh, I'm super excited about this video. I've been wanting to um, do like a Q&A for a long time, but I didn't really dare myself to because I didn't think that people would actually ask questions, but I did get questions and there's some really good ones. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I have a latte here. Look how cute it is. It has like rose petals on it. It's actually, well, I shouldn't give too many details because if this is like a little sneak peek at um, a video that's coming very soon for Valentine's Day. So I won't give too many details, but it's a yummy latte. So stay tuned for this video. I asked for you guys to ask me some questions over on my Instagram story. If you're not following me, feel free to go follow me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, that's probably if there's going to be like future Q and A's or whatever for my YouTube channel. That's probably where they will be asked, so if you have questions, um, just keep your eye open for that. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first question that we're going to start off with is, any plans on starting a family soon? Kind of a juicy one, but it was the first question that I got. Um, and I was definitely expecting this question, <laughs> but um, the answer is... I don't really know. We at this time don't really have any plans for that. Um, who knows? It could happen this year, could happen in two years. I don't know, but as of right now, I think we really enjoy our lives, just the two of us, and plus all of my friends are having babies right now, and it's super fun for me like I love babies if you didn't know this about me I love babies a lot but it's just really fun for me I can just kind of be like the cool aunt to all my friends babies right now and I actually really love it that way <laughs> next question is have you had any negative feedback about your YouTube channel and the answer to that would be no I have actually had very supportive people in my life um, yeah, especially like my husband and my friends and stuff and people that I know like they have all been really supportive and um, yeah just pretty much thought it was a great idea so yeah I'm blessed with very supportive people in my life part two to that question I guess it's not really a question but it says I love brave girls like you and I know with popularity comes more vulnerability with the heart and that was a very sweet comment thank you um, next question is, how did you learn to sew? Was it something you self-taught yourself or go to for lessons? Um, and for those of you that don't know, I actually have like a sewing business. I um, sew a lot of wedding dresses and like bridesmaid dresses and pretty much anything like formal kind of dresses. But to answer the question, um, my mom taught me kind of the basics to sew um, and then yeah I just kind of taught myself I can't even tell you how many things I've sewn and it was a complete fail like <laughs> um, there's been a lot of things that went to the garbage that I made um, but yeah practice makes perfect I guess so yeah I just I look up a lot of things on YouTube or look it up on Pinterest or whatever they'll often have like a have like a step-by-step -step guide or whatever um so yeah I just taught myself a lot of things that I know now how do you always have the cutest outfits <laughs> um I don't know man I don't know if you can't tell that comment or question makes me feel really good about myself but um I guess it's just kind of something that I always have enjoyed like I enjoy like clothing and fashion and stuff like that um and so yeah if it's something you enjoy then you kind of will put a lot of effort into it and stuff like that so yeah um my go-to Starbucks drink 
Um, I love Starbucks, but I actually don't go very often because it's freaking expensive. Like, I just, I can't really, um, justify getting, like, a $6 drink too often. But the first drink that I've ever, like, actually been like, whoa, that is, like, amazing. I have to get it again. Was, um, a pumpkin sweet cream cold brew. I think that's what it's called. I'm not quite sure. But it is... <sighs> so good, especially for the transition from summer to fall, like when it's still kind of warm, but you want like folly vibes or whatever. Um, but kind of like my go-to for anything is like a vanilla latte because you literally can't go wrong with that. Um, I'm not the type of person that will like um, add all sorts of fancy things to my drinks, so I just kind of keep it plain and simple and order like on the menu. Um, but over the winter, I have really enjoyed um, the chestnut praline latte. That one is really good. This one is a little bit deeper. Um, it says, could you talk about why you head cover? And I'm always not sure how to answer that question. Not because I don't know why I do it, but because I want to do it in a way that doesn't sound like self-righteous, I guess. I don't want to say because I'm a Mennonite, like that's lame um no offense to people that say that but and I don't I don't either want to say because I'm a Christian because then it sounds like I'm implying that you're not a Christian if you don't wear one which is not at all what I believe it talks about it in 1 Corinthians 11 and you can uh, feel free to go read that or whatever but pretty much I wear it um, as like a sign of submission to um, God and my husband, especially for like praying and um, going to church and stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there sometimes I just don't like if I'm just at home by myself or whatever. I don't always wear one, but I like to often at least like wear a hat or something like that if my head needs a break from like the clips and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope that kind of answers the question. That's kind of why. I wear it because I guess that I just believe that's what God wants me to do so yeah are you living in your own home or a rented building and we own this home or I should say my husband does <laughs> I was broke when we got married so yeah um but yeah we own this place we feel very very lucky um, to have been able to afford it um, we bought it like a couple months before like the pandemic hit and house prices were, well we thought they were crazy back then but they were definitely nothing at all compared to what they are now. So we feel very very blessed to have been able to buy our own home. Why are you so cute? Um, stop. Um, I don't really know. I really don't had nothing to do with it. Um, how did you and your husband meet? Um, we met, uh, we used to go to the same church and school when we were like, I, I think I was six and he was seven. So yes, we went to school together and that's how we originally met. What is something you would tell your younger self? This is kind of a deep one. And when I first saw that question, or that somebody had asked that question, for some reason I kind of teared up. Um, because honestly, thinking back now to my younger self, especially my teenage self, I just like wish I could put my arms around her and give her a hug. But I would tell her that she's beautiful, and that she's beautiful because God made her that way, and he thinks that she is beautiful and she's like perfect because he made her that way. I would just tell her to just be confident in that. Um, <laughs> and I would tell her that it's okay if not everybody likes her. Um, this is who you are because God created you to be that way and if they don't like you then it's okay because God loves you the way that you are and God loves who you are and that's really all that matters. That's really only 
the approval that you need. And so, yeah, that's what I would tell my younger self. But for some reason, this is kind of an emotional question for me. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I think because I just kind of still to this day feel sorry for that girl. Um, she was never very popular. She was never very liked because she was different. And that's just what made me who I am today. But I still, I feel bad for her. And I just want to put, put my arms around her. What is your inspiration behind becoming a YouTuber? Um, I guess I just felt like I had something to offer. I felt like I had the time and energy and motivation to put into it because it takes a lot of dedication. I'm at home like most the majority of my time and I just really wanted to be an inspiration especially to um, like other young wives like myself or just wives in general. Um, I just enjoy everything about being like a homemaker or whatever and so yeah I guess that's what the majority of my videos are about but yeah that's kind of my inspiration behind becoming a youtuber um, and then also kind of along the lines of the topic of YouTube what guidance slash tips would you give other people who want to start a YouTube channel and hmm my advice or whatever would be to just like just go for it like um you'll never really know if it's gonna work out or if you like it if unless you try and also don't worry about what the people in your life are gonna think of you um that was like such a big insecurity for me like what are the people that know me gonna think of me and that's just dumb like just just go for it um and if you don't have the support of your friends then you need to find new friends so yeah that's kind of just my advice just don't worry about what people will think of you if you want to do it if it's a dream of yours just go for it <laughs> everybody has something to offer to youtube what is my favorite winter activity hmm i don't know i feel like i don't do a lot of winter activities since I've grown up, but I really love doing stuff like tubing. Um, I've never done snowboarding or skiing, but I think that's something I would totally love to get into. And the very last question is, what motivates you to get up and face the day? And to be honest, really the only thing that motivates me to get up is the fact that Jesus died for me and that he saved me. Because if I didn't have that, if I didn't have that peace and that joy, I don't even think I could get up. Um, because, like, life without him would seriously, <laughs> seriously be so awful. And so, that is really what keeps me going and what motivates me to get up every day. Is to just get up and live my life the way he wants me to and just honor and glorify him with my life because he has done so very much for me so yeah that is all of the questions that i have um thank you all for asking questions i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that i answered your questions properly <laughs> if you have any more questions that you would like answered feel free to ask them in the comments below and I will do my best to get to them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I cannot wait to see you next time.